weather is not clear. Cold, not cold, warm, not warm, look warm like this. Ah. Do you know me? Ah, so I don't know you. Mm. But that's something I've always, I've always told people, and I want to tell you. Me, this hospital is the best. And it used, no, it used to be the best in East Africa. Around like 20 years ago. Oh, oh, oh. You, you were born, I can see you were born by then. But you didn't know this hospital. Me, I swear, even my grandchildren will, will be treated from here. Can you imagine? It even treats the whites. I had Dr. Bush of UK. Ah, Dr. Bush. Ah, you don't know. Dr. Bush of UK, he was the best doctor around there. But when he came to explore East Africa, he would be brought here to be treated the flu. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh -huh, it has words. There is the, every word has oxygen, every word has oxygen. But the other part of the words has only oxygenated a gundi carbon dioxide. My friend, it has doctors, handsome doctors. The doctor comes to inject you and you're like, oh. <laughs> gardens. These patients who, who be here for a long time and they don't heal, they just take them to the gardens and they heal naturally. Mm. Mm. The scent, the flowers. Now, the other side. The other side, the extreme end, extreme end, there are words of the mental people who, who are mentally disturbed. They have these security guards. You take long to heal, they don't bother with you. They bring the dogs, they bow, 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 with <laughs> So what are you still doing here? If the mental word, if the one for mentally disturbed people is the other side, what are you doing here? Because clearly that is what is wrong with you. Or considering you're talking about the handsome doctor that, the doctors that inject, you're probably here to fornicate. You've come to commit adultery in a clinic. Eh? You, if you, are, you, are you the clinic radio or what? Ma what announcement are you trying to put up? Madam, actually, ah, are you the I clinic know. radio? Mm -hmm. I hear in the Reba word, the word is self-contained. You check in, move in, become a tenant if you want. Eh? Because you can't stop talking. You have verbal diarrhea or what? Eh? Some of us have problems. What if I have a headache? You're busy, you're busy tapping him on the knee. What if he just got an accident and his leg is about to fall off? If you have nothing to do, get out of here. This is a place for sick people. Eh? You're here wasting time when patients in the, in the mental institute are busy swallowing the medicine you're supposed to be swallowing. And you're here coming here to get small painkillers. You go to a place where you're going to get help. My Don't come here to Please. And you're the people who come here and you're like, hey, 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 the doctor is not checking on me. The doctor is not paying attention. You walk in here like a street preacher, speaking with a parody attitude. And you think that they're going to pay attention to you. Mm. Do you know what problems? Do you know where I came from? Do I know you? Mm. Just me if I know you. Who cares about Dr. Bush from UK? I am a consumer from Kavan. Who cares? I'm also here. Do, please, mm -mm. unless you have been hired as PR, mm -hmm. you about to tell me how the mochare here has Wi-Fi and f f free internet and computers for what? For the corpses to use. It's okay. If you love this hospital so much, do your reception. Do your wedding here. Bring the reverend to come and wed you from here. Do not waste my time. Some of us are not fine. This is a hospital for sick people, but clearly you, you are mentally disturbed. You need to go to a mental institute. Eh? You've said there are dogs that scare. Why don't they just scare you into shock and you keep quiet? Eh? I don't think you're sick at all. No, no, madam, I have a headache actually. Exactly my point. Your head is not correct. You are mentally disturbed. Go to a mental institute and live as peacefully, sick, alone. Doctor, when are we getting treatment? It's like we're in an empty building. I'm next. Am I in the right hospital? So now I fear hair. You fear hair, eh? Oh, 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 I was burnt the ears, the forehead, and Sorry, the... sorry. Was it here? Did we... Who was working on you here? <laughs> Not in this salon, but... <laughs> Some other salon. Mm. Mm, so you fear hair. Mm. Don't be very stupid. What, what, what are you complaining about? So wh why did you come here? You fear hair? 
Most of us were burnt by porridge as children when we were growing up. That does not mean we stayed away from eating porridge. Please. Hey. <laughs> How many children do you have, madam? You have about four children. Did you vomit them or you actually gave birth to them the way other women give birth to them and feel pain? If you felt pain the first time and you still did it the second time and the third time, you're here, you want to be beautiful, but you don't want to go through that trouble, eh? But hey, what do you mean? So if you go to a restaurant and you eat food and get food poisoning, you quit. You're like, you will never eat again. Never shall you ever eat again because, because I'm not going to let other people's actions eh, bring the consequences to me. So I'm not going to work on you because you're traumatized. They traumatized you. My dear, you have to feel pain. You have to feel pain to get out of this place looking good. I have to do it. Please put you. Sorry, how? Sorry, how? Did I send you there? Okay, okay, okay. Why did you just come here for the treatment then? Okay. I don't know I understand it, man. That's how you end up a lonely spinster, an old woman, and you're always complaining. Oh, men, just because one man hurt you in the beginning. Oh, men are like dogs. All of them, they are like dogs. Me, are never, and then you, uh, uh, you can look at my age. I don't see anything, any ring or any, any suspect in your life. Because the first person hurt you, so you give up. You think we've had it easy. Your parents didn't beat you in, when you were a child. So did you disown them and walk away? Now we are suffering in this country. We have suffered in this country of Uganda. But do you see us refusing, denying, and re denouncing Uganda that we are not Ugandans? Eh? One bad experience like this, instead of running a lesson from it, you go around and it, you allow it to kill your other, all your other... Madam, it's... So you're the kind of people going and saying, oh, you see, hmm, it is 2015, but in 1982, I burnt my yellow dress when I was ironing it. That's why I'm allergic to flat irons. I only wear creased clothes, eh? I'm not really Please. Bad. Hey, okay. That doesn't mean if you had a bad experience in a different, in, in, in a different salon, the, the same experience is going to bring itself here. Not every dog is a, can bite, others are just for companion. Who oh, are you? There is no testimony without a test, so you be brave. Okay. Be brave. Okay. Uh, after all, how do you expect a reward without risks? Explain to me how you expect to be rewarded without taking a risk. Right now I'm risking. There's a nice style I know about. I don't know. I'm just going to risk and put it on you and see if it looks good. So sit properly. I'm also not sure of what I'm doing. And when you get scared, you scare me. So be brave. Can you just stay in one place? Ooh. Sit tight. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Who brought you here? Don't mess with Kasime. <laughs>
of something that you'd enjoy better, eh? Yeah? But I... Eh? Are you sure? I think... Uh, no, no, you people have copied your way through life. You copied in school, even in Nasara school, you copied. You've been copying through life. You cannot live your life and have a single original original idea in your head. So you've come and now you want to copy also my bar. But I'm a customer here. I'm hey, here you are a customer, but are you a customer right now? So you're taking this... Why? Which means, wait, the internet has come, when you're going to bring us problems. So you take pictures, and then you post, who knows, before you know it, you're saying, oh, please, bar up for sale, you're putting up my bar on the internet, up for sale, you have all the pictures, you have all the evidence, bar up for sale, that already has stock, customers already, you just have to pay and own the bar. You think but I'm very stupid? It's not like that. What if you're taking pictures of my bar? Actually, you're not going to take this phone. Uh, madam, what if, no, 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 you're not going to take these pictures. <laughs> I think you haven't met me. If you had talked to people, my neighbors, they would tell you that this is not something you can do at my bar. Madam, and you go scotch free. Okay, madam, what if you take this, uh, what if you take these pictures madam, and then you go around saying, oh, have you seen my bar, guys? Guys, it is my bar. Oh, no, or you take it to even the bank and they use it as security and you get a loan madam, for free. Madam, and I'm here sitting there, patient, there waiting. And the pictures are not actually bad. They're not bad, meaning you can actually convince someone that you own this place. Oh, no. I must be very stupid. Are you the people who take your friends and you the pictures? Don't you like taking kacha, kacha? Before you know it, you're taking what? people in their bathrooms and posting their private person Madame. on social media for everyone Madame. to see. Okay, you delete them and give me back my phone. I cannot Please. give you this phone. This is Exhibit 1A. This is exhibit one way, just in case there is a case, I will be having evidence. But so please do yourself a favor Madame, and get out Madame, of my bar. Madame. Do yourself a favor and get out of my bar. My phone. You are phone. This is no longer your phone. Actually, the picture quality is nice. <laughs> Don't mess with Kasime! <laughs>
Ni nakatamba. And I can't no, no, wait, well, okay. let, let me get this straight. No. What, what, I'm what? sure it is Nina. What because happened? Nina goes around telling us how you, you the other day you tapped her buttocks. Hmm? You told her that her breasts have increased. I said, but who says such things about our boss? Huh? What kind of human being is that? Eh? I kept quiet. Nina went ahead and said, hey, our good boss who has 13 children with different women. I'm like, hey, Nina, how do you say that about your boss? I kept quiet. I said, hmm? I usually don't say those things because I don't want to be in trouble or anything. Can Nina, can Nina, I said things. Nina, every, every, anyway, it's okay. God, you are watching. The other day, he carried, he, she always carries home like two bars of soap every day. I'm like, how is this business going to grow if she keeps taking stock? But then I said, you can't see me. Keep quiet. Mm. Keep quiet. You might speak and people hate you. But boss, you have decided. What can I do? No, can, 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 no, can, can, relax. Let me talk to the human resource and I see what we can do. I just try. Kasi, what is that? It's a cockroach. The cockroach is in the let, let, let me see what I can do. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, no, no. Eh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Eh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Don't mess with Kasimi! Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, madame. Oh, wait, how what are is, you? What is the UN doing in my house? How are you, madame? <laughs> nice to see you. Thank nice you. to see you, nice please. I am fine. Too. Who can be in your presence and they are not fine? Mm. You are welcome. What can That's I so get kind. you? Anything? No, thank you, but I'm actually here for charity. But you can answer prayers very fast or of you also you. <laughs> this is the right family. I have uh, three orphans I am raising. My, my, my uh, okay, my uncle, the one who used to own, own this house, already died without telling us. Mm? You know, accidentally. Just died accidentally. Okay. Yeah. And this house has not been renovated for about 10 years. We've been waiting to renovate it. There's so many things we've been waiting to do. And right now we have come even before we have breakfast. So it's the right <laughs> time. Whatever it is you have brought is welcome. Oh, thank well, you Well, it's very nice. Much. You seem like a woman with a nice heart. Ye Psh of course. So you I see, otherwise, why would I be looking after orphans? <laughs> you just give me one reason why I would be looking after orphans. If I did not feel like I am actually <laughs> working Andy. for the most high. Ever. I'm actually here for an organization who works for the local international school. You're taking my offer to oh, no, international no. school? No, 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 you don't seem to understand. I am here collecting money for a new swing set. Uh, who? New a, a new swing set. Swing set? Because Bam, they, they only have two swing sets. Can you imagine these poor kids who have to wait two minutes before they play? It's terrible. Let me see if I can repeat what you have told me. You are here to collect money to buy more swing sets of an exactly, international yes, school. Exactly. Collect money from me in, and my three orphans to give you so to buy swing sets. For, because they have to wait for two whole minutes, not a days, to swing. Uh, yeah. When I used to wait, we were in school, we waited two hours to use the toilet. My orphans have to wait two hours to use a toilet. And you're telling me it's an emergency, it's a solid state because you have to buy swings. Are you mocking me? No. no, are you mocking me? No, 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 no. What kind of nonsense is that? We used to slap ourselves in school for fun because that's the only game we had. And you was already have swings, but want to buy them extra swings. What kind of nonsense is this? So you came in saying you are, you are, you are, you are a donor, you want to help, yet you want me giving you help is like a cow sucking blood out of a tick. I didn't say eh? that. What kind of nonsense is this? Hey, ha, I think this is a trick. I, I, I'm being tricked. I must be recording something. Can't you see my reaction at the most obscene moment? Wait, hold, sit there. Wait for me to react accordingly. Just wait for me. You're my way. Don't mess with Kasimi. <laughs> Madam, get up. Madam, get up. You sit up, right? Please. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Hey, doctor. How's the tablets are too big? 
big. Oh, please break them for me into two. <laughs> that's, that's how the tablets come. They come in that size. You're going to have to take them like that. I can't swallow them. <laughs> And I think my job is boring. This is very entertaining. Absolutely entertaining. So first hold on. How come earlier in the reception there at the reception when you were demolishing your plate of food? You did not call me to break it down for you. But somehow you want me to break the medicine for you, eh? eh? So I also break the pain in two two, break also other things. How come Wow! So how do you do it? You're such a big, a big woman. Do you still go home and breastfeed when you get home? As in the medicine is too big for you. Is it the biggest? Let's be honest. You have children. Is this medicine the biggest thing you've ever seen? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you should call me at the end of the month. I want you to call me at the end of the month when they've paid you a salary. And you say, oh, ho, ho. doctor, help me break this salary for me. It is too big. Then I take a portion. That is when I'll start breaking this medicine for you. Please, if you're not feeling pain, you're wasting time. There's a line outside of people who want to get treated. Yeah. So if you don't want to get treated, do not waste my time. Treat me. Treat me, treat me. When you go to the market to buy potatoes and you find a big one, do you say, oh, 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 oh. break it down for me. Suddenly, because it is medicine, your mouth is too small to accommodate tablets. When you can put a whole sweet potato in your mouth till it chokes you. Meat. We all know the pieces of meat you people eat. Really? No, you are just wasting my time. I should sit down and crush them for you. So what next? Uh -huh. Swallow them for me, doctor. Hmm? Come home with me, doctor. Please sleep with my husband for me, doctor. Ah, no, no. Because we are here to serve you. You have a feeling we are here to lick your feet. You also have things to do. What, what will we do? What if, uh -huh. what if you fall sick and you have constipation and you are in the toilet? Will you say, doctor, come and help me. It is too big for me. Break it down for me. Or come and help me push. Please, if you do not want to get better, stand up majestically and get out. I'm not going to force you to take medicine. The medicine is here. Take it or leave it, please. I have things to do. You're not the only patient. Next, get out. You're not the only patient here. I'm sick. You are sick. You're there croaking menopause and you act as if you are a, 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 a toddler, young. What were you thinking? Next time, use a condom, don't come here with STDs and I give you medicine and you begin telling me how they are big when we all know you've seen worse things. <laughs> ah, my dog. This is just a, this is amazing. Doctor, how's the problem? Is that too big? You have children. Is this medicine the biggest thing you've ever seen? The medicine is here. Take it or leave it, please. Don't mess with Kasime. <laughs>